soundness test is done to check the resistance of aggregates against disintegration and is determined by using saturated solution of sodium sulfate or magnesium sulfate so clean dry aggregates of specified size are weighed and the pieces are counted after that these aggregates are immersed in the saturated solution of sodium sulfate or magnesium sulfate for 16 to 18 hours after that these aggregates are oven dried at 105 to 110 degrees celsius which is making one cycle and after that these aggregates are examined visually to see if there is any evidence of excessive splitting crumbling or disintegration of the grains and irc has specified that after five such cycles the weight loss in the aggregates should not be more than 12 percent with sodium sulfate and should not be more than 18 percent in case of magnesium sulfate soundness test is done to check the durability of aggregates also and this was all about the soundness test of the aggregates so our sixth test is specific gravity and water absorption test so we don't need to go into depths of these tests we just need to know the specific gravity values and water absorption values okay first of all i want to tell you that the specific gravity is calculated by dividing the dry weight of the aggregate by weight of the equal volume of water so specific gravity is equal to weight of dry aggregate divided by weight of equal volume of water. This is the formula for specific gravity. And the value of specific gravity lies between 2.6 to 2.9 for rocks. This is important. This value is important. The value of specific gravity lies from 2.6 to 2.9 for rocks, which is very important. And now let's talk about the water absorption test. The water absorption test simply says that our aggregates should not contain more than 0.6% of water in them. And more than 0.6% is found very unsatisfactory. We need not to know much about these tests only these two values are important the specific gravity lies between 2.6 to 2.9 for rocks and the water absorption in, in water absorption test our aggregates should not contain more than 0.6 percent of water in them okay and our last test is addition test there are few tests to check the addition of aggregates and these are so there are a number of addition tests that are used to find out the stripping value of aggregates and the one that is commonly used is the static immersion test and we don't need to go into the depths of this test and we just need to know that the stripping value of aggregates should not be greater than 5% alright so this was all about the tests on aggregate also if you want to ask me out anything you can ask me under comments.